Over the years, we've seen a lot of patients who suffer from both digestive problems and fatigue, and it's probably the most common combination of symptoms that I hear patients talk about. And the good news is that these two things are generally directly related, meaning that the digestive problems are usually causing the fatigue, which is good because the fatigue goes away when the digestive problems are solved. And that should always be your expectation when seeing your doctor about your digestion, that you literally they should be able to help you solve your digestive problems. I do expect that to be your goal. Now, I'll explain why digestive problems can cause fatigue and how those two are connected. Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Wang and the founder and medical director of the IBS Treatment Center. Digestive problems can cause fatigue, including really very debilitating fatigue in several different ways. So let's talk about why people with digestive problems often have fatigue and what those ways those con that connection is. Now there are at least five different reasons that people who have digestive problems often also have fatigue. Some are super obvious and some are really probably far less intuitive and kind of hiding, but both are equally profound. I mean, they all are super important, so I want to explain them all. But we'll start with maybe some that you've thought of already or that you know, you've already experienced, and then we'll get to the ones that might really truly surprise you. Now, first of all, first, there is your sleep. Right now, if your digestive problems are causing you to have trouble getting to sleep or staying asleep or causing you to get up in the middle of the night because you have to go to the bathroom, then, of course, your sleep is being disturbed by your digestion, right? Now, this can be as straightforward as having pain in the abdomen or stomach that is preventing you from sleeping well, to having heartburn or reflux that is preventing you from even lying down, right? Which is, of course, affecting your sleep. Or, like we said, having to get up in the middle of the night for, for any of those things, whether it's pain that shows up in the middle of the night or you just have to rush to the bathroom or whatever it is that you that you know your digestion is disturbing your sleep. That happens to a lot of people. Now, even if you don't have any of those things, what if you have to get up early in the morning? A lot of people do. I hear this from a lot of patients. They have to get up extra early because it takes a long time for them to have a bowel movement before they can get on with their day and leave the house. Of course, that's also affecting your sleep. And we all know how critical sleep is to having good energy right throughout the day. But sometimes it's easy to forget how much your digestion is actually affecting your sleep, especially if it was you went back to sleep, right, and then you got up and you weren't really thinking about it right away or later in the day. But, but of course, if that's happening a lot, that's really impacting your energy. Now, number two. Number two is simply being sick, right? Being sick is exhausting. And if you have digestive problems, especially IBS, then you're sick a lot of the time. And that is going to sap your energy and make it a lot harder to do all of the things that you want to do during your day, just like any other illness will. All right, then there's number three. So the third thing is pain. Now, you can be sick and not have pain, but if you have pain, then it's even more exhausting because now you're constantly fighting to not only get through your day, but to ignore the pain or put up with it, right? And pain can cause just complete exhaustion, even if it's relatively subtle pain that's just dragging on all the time because it takes a lot of energy to deal with pain. You have to put a lot of physical and mental energy into that, into just tolerating it and pretending that it's not there. All right, the fourth reason, now this is where I think things get really interesting is because the fourth reason that digestive problems can cause fatigue is, is super overlooked. It's really profound, but completely missed by most people because they're not thinking about it, but it's actually really straightforward when I tell you. If you have poor digestion, then by definition, you are not breaking down your foods well. And if you aren't breaking down your foods properly, then you probably aren't getting the nutrients out of those foods that you would otherwise normally get when you are breaking down foods properly, right? So when this happens, you are essentially malnourished, even if your diet is good and your weight is fine. And this is a modern day conundrum, right? Because you don't look malnourished 
but you go to the doctor and your, your doctor says you look fine, your friends say you look fine, but at the cellular level, you can be highly deficient in many important vitamins and minerals and other nutrients, right? And this can be tested, but it's never tested by regular doctors because they're only testing your blood and that's not intracellular. That's what's floating around in your blood. So that, that's the difference between tests that check what's actually happening inside your cells. They can find deficiencies that regular blood tests don't. All right. We don't have time to get into all that, but that I think is really fascinating, this whole idea of being malnourished because of your digestive problems. Now, finally, number five, there is one last really super critical reason that people with digestive problems are often very tired, and that's because of inflammation. And inflammation is always tiring. No one has inflammation and great energy because inflammation requires energy. And what I mean by that inflammation is a sign that your immune system is working hard to fight something and to work on something. And when that happens, that requires lots of energy for your immune system to do that. And when you have digestive problems, you usually have inflammation at some level, even if your blood work doesn't show it, like we were talking about with nutrients. How do we know? Because once again, it's been shown at the cellular level and you have to do the right kind of lab work to see it. And most, most lab work that most doctors are doing is not at that level. So it might look like there's no inflammation there when there is at a deeper level. You probably still have inflammation and that's been shown in a lot of IBS studies as well. So that's something to keep in mind is that you may very well have inflammation and a lot of you can feel it. A lot of people come in and tell me they feel inflamed that's a completely accurate way of describing it, even if nobody else has seen it. All right, that was five. And all of these things also add up too, right? They can be cumulative. So the more of them you have, the more likely you are to be tired. So it's no surprise to me, at least, that digestive problems like IBS and lots of other digestive problems often cause a lot of fatigue. And oftentimes it's a really bad fatigue where people are just tired and exhausted all day, can fall asleep at the, at the drop of a hat, right? I mean, that even that was me even years ago when I had IBS, I was exhausted all the time, even though I slept a lot, I was still exhausted. So I hope that you found this information helpful for understanding the relationship between digestion and fatigue. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more valuable information about your health. And if you'd like personalized help for your digestive problems or your fatigue, give us a call at the IBS Treatment Center at 206-264-1111 and we can work with you via telemedicine regardless of where you live. We've been helping people literally around the world since 2005 and we'd love to work with you too. Thank you very much for watching.